truly converted Christians should aim for perfection. December 3rd. Therefore you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Matthew 5 verse 48. It means much to be a consistent Christian. It means to walk circumspectly before God, to press toward the mark of the price of our high calling in Christ. It means to bear much fruit to the glory of him who gave his son to die for us. As the sons and daughters of God, Christians should strive to reach the high ideal set before them in the gospel. They should be content with nothing less than perfection. Let us make God's holy word our study, bringing its holy principles into our lives. Let us walk before God in meekness and humility, daily correcting our faults. Let us not by selfish pride separate the soul from God. Cherish not a feeling of lofty supremacy, thinking yourself better than others. Let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Peace and rest will come to you as you bring yourself to the will and subjection of Christ. Then the love of Christ will rule in the heart, bringing unto captivity to the Savior the secret springs of action. The hasty, easily roused temper will be soothed and subdued by the oil of Christ's grace. The sense of sins forgiven will bring peace that passeth all understanding. They will be an earnest striving to overcome all that is opposed to Christian perfection. Variance will disappear. People who once found fault with those around them will see that far greater faults exist in their own character. There are those who listen to the truth and are convinced that they have been living in opposition to Christ. They are condemned and they repent of their transgressions, relying upon the merits of Christ, exercising true faith in Him. They receive pardon for sin. As they cease to do evil and learn to do well, they grow in the grace and in the knowledge of God. They see that they must sacrifice in order to separate from the world, and after counting the cost, they look upon all as loss if they may but win Christ. They have enlisted in Christ's army. Their warfare is before them, and they enter it bravely and cheerfully, fighting against their natural inclinations and self selfish desires, bringing the will unto subjection to the will of Christ. Daily they seek the Lord for grace to obey Him, and they are strengthened and helped. This is true conversion. In humble, grateful dependence, those who have been given a new heart rely upon the help of Christ. They reveal in their life the fruit of righteousness. They once loved themselves. Worldly pleasure was their delight. Now their idol is dethroned and God reigns supreme. The youth's instructor stood